Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to make drag and drop reagent. So let's start the procedure. First of all, take potassium iodide and bismuth subnitrate. Now you have to measure 2 gram of bismuth subnitrate. Now keep this bismuth subnitrate aside and measure 40 gram of potassium iodide. Now keep both the measured chemicals in separate separate uh, beakers and dissolve 2 gram of bismuth subnitrate in 25 ml of glacial acetic acid so for that first of all measure 25 ml glacial acetic acid in the measuring cylinder and then add it in 2 gram of bismuth subnitrate dissolve it properly Now in the second beaker there is 40 gram of potassium iodide and now in 2 gram of bismuth subnitrate which is already dissolved in glacial acetic acid you have to add 100 ml of water. Now again dissolve the liquid very properly. The first beaker in which we have 2 gram of bismuth subnitrate and we have added 25 ml of glacial acetic acid and 100 ml of water. This is our A solution. Now we are preparing solution number B. So first of all as you can see we have a second beaker which has 40 gram of potassium iodide in it. So you have to dissolve this 40 gram of potassium iodide in 100 ml of water. So with the use of maintaining cylinder add 100 ml of water in it. And then dissolve it properly. You can use glass rod to dissolve the solution. Now we have solution A and solution B ready with us. Now comes the very important part. Now you have to mix 10 ml of solution A with 10 ml of solution B. So again with the help of measuring cylinder, first of all measure solution A and take it in a beaker. Then measure solution B, 10 ml of solution B. And mix both the solutions. Now add 25 ml of glacial acetic acid in it. And the last step is you have to add 100 ml of water. The solution is then diluted with 100 ml of water. This is the final step that we are gonna do.
now regent or free agent is ready so keep it in a reagent bottle take the reagent bottle label it as regent or free agent place the funnel and place the filter paper on it always filter the reagents so that you get the purest form of the solution properly place the filter paper and then start filtering this will take a bit time so be patient and slowly and slowly all the solution will be filtered and after filtration you can close the reagent bottle and keep it aside